Hi. Um, thanks so much to everyone who's come out and uh, to 11 11 and to the other readers. Um, I'm going to read one poem that was in the journal um, and then I'm going to invite a friend up to read a second thing that is newer. I'm going to get some water. This is called The Direction of Water Mind. For Zoe Tuck. Truly ambiguous relations between parents, between ideas signified, a sign of the subject. Indirectly, Foucault cannot be the passion, cannot be the cause of a savage memoir. Other shifts between two things, HG and water, the emptiness inside the mind. Lungs are filling, hair tangling and twisting and water, struggling. A master turns to the task at hand. A man creates a door by stepping through. The water flows lower, easy. People think of difference regarding others, two shaped touch at edges, holes obscured at certain angles. One reflects, emptied of distinction. A reason for bleeding, the virtuous pant plants, the universal wisdom of contingency, a light touch on the bottom of the foot, truth speaking. I do not mean violence, desiccation, immolation. Slumped over, I push through the contemplation of pain. An approach methodical, slowly building. There is something inside me that loves, something happiest in its return to the ocean. A brief point of articulation, an explanation of approach engendered toppling expectation. The fruit just means legitimately oriented towards social growth or nothing other than the pursuit of further knowledge. Increasing what light is natural, increasing what is considerable, what light casts into view. Track the meta movements of the writing, of the direction of the mind. The layers become empty bodies explained, touched, cast in the light of considered understanding. A different shape touched, discerned, loath to call it nature, presented as a reality, an eye. Um, so the second piece, I was asked to write something about women in conceptual writing um, for a blog called Volta Blog. And this is what I wrote. Um, if my friend Jordan would come up, he's Jordan Card, and she's also a poet near it. Um, and what this is, what I wrote, it's kind of an essay poem. It's a mixture of my own words and quotes called from uh, poetic statements from uh, the Lefeek anthology of conceptual writing by women called I'll Draw My Book. It came out last year. Um, so I'm going to read my own words and Jordan's, what Jordan's reading is quotations from that book. How should we do a microphone? Um, sure. Yeah. Okay, then. Got a height difference there. <laughs> I'll project. It's fine. I'll project. Yeah. Okay. Accumulate. Movements made entrenched, always grazing the arms of surrounding bodies. You cannot gather without clustering. The feeling of another's breath on your face. This was something you wanted to write about. Not producing a fact of infrastructure. A dilemma of resources. Everyone needed a touch. Somebody started yelling about something that had happened to them in the past. Someone was trying to listen. Someone was trying to drown out the sound of her breath in the microphone. The gesture toward an apple is now more compelling than the apple itself. Conceptual phase, which focuses on the subject of experience rather than the object provoking it. The mode of non-function. A form of institutional critique for it for its avowed awareness of the mechanisms of, in, of inclusion and exclusion intrinsic to the project of establishing a corpus. One course of action could be inactive, awaiting desire, awaiting pushback. One is not oneself. One has not oneself. One's speech is that of others. This isn't new, it's perpetual, each step away from the last with an opportunity to change course offered literally at every moment. The open field, 
the matrix of points, a disavowal of to totalizing views and its products, an embrace of process, the grasping, overpunctuated, extended into a vibration over time depleting, barely registering, torn. If you use the limited to explore the unlimited, you will become exhausted. Grinning like a madwoman on display, I cannot write about my ability to perceive, peer into, how it haunts me, sends me places I might not have wanted to go. As a statement against positioning myself, which would imply an aspiration on my part to attain status within a hierarchy, what has accomplishment gained us? An art of low stakes versus an aesthetic of low stakes. An art of low stakes makes no challenges to any sort of system, cultural or otherwise. An aesthetic of low stakes doesn't intimidate its audience. A deliberate adoption of multiple, often clashing, clashing positions, resulting from my engagement with the task at hand. Exclusion, inclusion, also competitiveness, also performativity, also identity as performance, also personas, also multiplicity. Positions, by definition, are tactical. There are two ways to see this resistance to meaning. There's so much, such a glut, that it just doesn't matter. Or there's just so much, it's inevitable that it will mean. Try, try on as many as you can, and something's bound to look good on you. Meaning happens without understanding, and the reverse also holds as well. Understanding takes place without meaning. When we decide that something doesn't make sense, what are we making decisions about? <coughs> conceptual context pricks, conceptual tech, sorry, conceptual text prick us into social politicized consciousness about our habits of meaning making and text use. Materiality in political writing exists external to the work. The material is the potential real world action taken by the potential reader or the, poten or the political events and movements that are being pointed to. Political writing points to an external material condition and tries to evoke a material response. Materiality in conceptual writing exists in the work itself. The materiality of the writing points to the conceptual underpin underpinning. The political event, in this case, happens in the working of the work itself, in its production, publishing, and continual persistence, existence, afterward. The material textual condition creates a site for political growth, for poetry makes nothing happen, it survives, it survives, a way of happening, a mouth. Everything that's happening is not happening in the framed object, in the, in the entity on which we're supposedly focusing our attention, but rather in the immensely involved ways of looking away from it and engaging with peripheral entities around it that might redefine not the object, but the very notion of an experience of art. <coughs> but also I like, but I also like, no love, when the text opens up for an action beyond the space of the text, a possible action. When the text not only points out something broken and empty and dead, allegorical, but also makes a gesture to a hypothetical, hy hypothetical future action. What resounds as an ethical question is more accurately a material one and a question of social structure. That is, the descriptive turn in critical theory is motivated by the impossibility of finding the right relation to one's object. Emphasis mind. <coughs> Aspire. She paints over the thing, betrays herself with words. Autonomous and self-determining subject. Precarious self. Is there a logic that could put us all on the same level? This articulation of commonality, a compendium of features. This tenuous we is an apt description of this assemblage, or the notion of conceptual writing, which is still evolving. She said that the Bay Area came to mind when she thought about conceptual poetry, and I felt bored, or out of touch, or insecure, or a little lost. I don't even know what that word means, women. Women and women. I do not believe the conceptual, especially in the work of women, can be separated from the body. Isn't that what fucked up Western culture in the first place? The wrenching of the conceptual from the embodied. Women are a big black hole. In its radical primor primordiality, as the emergence of verse 
from the purse nothing, from the pure nothing, the open, finally, that. The thing about not knowing, not wanting to know the breadth, the thing about history, the thing about mastery. Mastery asserts control. Mastery, anathema to, primary vulnerability, points to social vulnerability as a body. To apprehend that interconnectedness of things, to urge, press, reply. Feelings we don't recognize as feelings because they're cerebral, also, iterations of seriousness, also, compelling illumination, also, the complexity of life forms is desirable, also, poetry thinks relationally, something about the things you know manifesting unconsciously in your speech and actions, the cognitive role of experimentalism, definitional tension, something about well-worn patterns, could conceptual writing be drawing reframed? Understanding and commensurate points of view, also, benefits of difference, points to, more ideas, also, continual minor delinquencies, also, potentials for synthesis, also, die of the roar of it, points to, and the signal turns inside out. Right emotion, right emotion, don't care about writing, whatever. Emptied and desiring of emptiness, only enjoyed as a function, passing across and touching on the other side. He said she wasn't, she wasn't, stuck. Her notes were strong and strange, a bomb threat in the library. That surprised me because, as if I follow and I go on, as if this machine had no place, to have something real slash not make anything physical. The conceptual mindset then is about looking and noticing, not just, I think, to linger, to somehow penetrate what is noticed until it penetrates you. What will have been obsessed with looking? Why add more to the pile other than because you must? What is must? A way out of stagnancy. Parts of a larger investigation working in conjunction with my interest in borders, transitions, and translations. What is integration? What changes with the woman at the pen? I didn't create language, writer thought. I can't make language, but in this world I can play, can be played. Points to the unintelligible. Points to reimagining. Prefiguration. Points to the fascination of mastery. Points to failure as the goal of conceptual writing, points to I am this mi mix of hegemonic and emergent in relation to the critical edges of that culture in which I am also saturated and through which I have expressed my longing or part of that longing. Also, the author may have disappeared but language remains, remains privileged. What could be illuminating in the ways human and non-human animals don't have, the, don't have language? Also, we need processes for everything. Language is one of those of the f language is one of those first processes, the voice that turns into language. I often ask myself what kind of processes is a poem is a poem is. It looks like a desire to choose, a desire to browse. It's harder to do that now. It all seems to be all maps. This is new. The exact moment before something never seen before appears. Arrives. A marginal image. This is exactly what my life is like these days we have to climb over, getting very close to the unfamiliar. It's really all there is. You can't necessarily buy who you really want to be. You have to buy the available images. Who this is, the air is, he is, the tree is, the sea is, the cage is, the air is, the wound is. He began as a night vision that landed on the page as a wave. She passes between, around, beats against. These beatings and burnings join us in layers of raptures, a physical and temporal movement through an intellectual frame, a frame constructed in curiosity, curiosity being desire. The end result is simply the material evidence of this movement muddy tracks in an English garden or on a page, is education, is flesh, is a book, is over there, is splendid, is the sky, is bruised, 
is far, is half reflection, recollection, both connection to and ambivalence toward the naming of the group. What's a uh, fallen from? Thinking, feeling, discover solitude. Created space between, in order to be. Escaped cultivation to carry a sudden darkness, sent out waves. Decided that since what she wanted to do was just to write, not to find her own voice, could and would write by using anyone's voice, anyone's text, whatever materials she wanted to use. We've reached a collage of the real, a sloppy, unfinished brick collage held together by a borrowed framing device, in turn framed by a borrowed framing device, in turn framed by a borrowed framing device. The ideal would probably be a constant reduction toward almost nothing. Reframed.